So I'm here, um, this little lady's called me out, she says she's got no power. So I'm just jumping out on this quick call out just to see what's going on. I'm not sure exactly what the problem's going to be. So I'll let you know and get in there and see what's going on. So at first glance, I would say that the RCD possibly tripped. Uh, I'm going to turn these off one by one and reset that. Yep. Looks like <coughs> it's done the trick. <coughs> That's it. Easy as that. So that was an easy fix, which is nice. And uh, ladies said, can I pay by check? And I said, no, it's all right. I've got a card machine. So I'm just gonna do a card payment now. Um, I hate checks. I, I actually put on my invoices. We do not accept checks. So I uh, just take card payments. Super easy with this little eyes at all thing. Um, really amazing. It just connects to your smartphone and then you just take a payment and they take like a 1% commission or something. So yeah, it's really good. So I just got a phone call from that lady whose RCD was tripping, who I went out to a couple of days ago. And she said she, it's tripping again and it won't reset now. So um, obviously it wasn't just a bulb that had blown, it must have been something else. But it's weird that it reset before, but now it won't reset. So I'm gonna go back there and have a look and let you know what I find. So essentially what I've done here is turned all the circuit breakers off one by one, then reset the RCD, that stayed in, then reset the, the MCBs one by one, and when it got to first floor sockets, it tripped. So I turned that first floor sockets off, reset the RCD again, then carried on, ground floor sockets, immersion heater, first floor lights, ground floor lights, everything stayed on. So then you know that the fault is on the first floor sockets and then what I've done is just walked around the whole house well first floor unplugged everything then reset the MCB it stayed on so I know that it was something that was plugged in so then I've gone round plugged things back in one by one and as soon as I plugged in an extension lead in the bedroom it tripped so that's where the fault was Okay, so what I found was that the RCD was tripping, it wouldn't reset. So I turned off all the MCBs, the RCD reset and it stayed in. And then I turned on the MCBs one by one until I found the circuit that was tripping and it was the first floor sockets circuit. Um, so I decided to just go around everywhere and check to make sure that it wasn't something that was plugged in. So I unplugged everything, then tried to reset the MCB and the RCD stayed in. So then I went back one by one, plugged everything in. And as soon as I plugged in this extension lead, it tripped. So seemed like that was the culprit. So I followed the extension lead and it led to two things. It was one of those four way splitter things, which was a bit dodgy because the cable had pulled out of the cord grip and stuff like that. Um, but plugged into it were two fans. One was a class two fan and one was a class one. So I decided to just try those, plugging those in and see if either of those had a, a problem and in fact the class one fan was the thing that tripped it as soon as i plugged that in it tripped everything out again so that's the culprit um so i've told the customer obviously not to use the fan anymore because it's faulty i've run some tests on the socket just to make sure everything else is okay and there was nothing else untoward going on and the socket um had, it had a little bit of a high zs reading 0.8 um ohms but it was on right on the top floor it was actually on the second floor in like a little loft bedroom full of dust um yeah not the nicest place to crawl around in but anyway power's back on i've recommended to the customer to get an eicr done because there's loads of dodgy looking stuff around there i found a dimmer switch that was kind of 
cracked and sort of bulging a little bit off the wall so I'm a little bit worried about that there was a couple of pendants that, that were just like the covers were smashed off as well hanging down from the ceiling um, and the whole lot just looks kind of old and a bit dodgy so as well as a consumer unit change which I've recommended I said first you need to get any ICR done we'll check everything out make sure all the wiring's okay and safe and we'll do a consumer unit change and repair the few little things that are, are dodgy around the, the property and she also asked me about her boiler she said that she's not getting much hot water at all and it takes ages to heat up and stuff like that so i had a look at the boiler and it's a valent boiler which is you know good good boiler it doesn't look that old but it hasn't been serviced for quite a few years the last service label was quite a few years ago so uh, I'd just recommend that she gets some boiler service as well, gets a gas engineer in to do a boiler service and probably it's just clogged up with gunk or something like that and, and it just needs a, a good overhaul. Um, so yeah, that was just an update on that little job. Sometimes they go like that. Um, I mean, in hindsight, I, I suppose if I, on the first visit, if I'd have um, not just assumed that it was a bulb blowing, but rather gone around and done some IR tests maybe it would have showed up maybe it wouldn't though that's the trouble because the fan I asked the customer if her daughter had unplugged everything when I got there and she said she had but then today I checked and she said no actually I hadn't unplugged stuff I just um, turned things off like the cooker and the uh, boiler so I think the fan was still plugged in when I visited two days ago and when I reset the RCD it all stayed stayed on um so i'm not quite sure why it reset then but now it, it's faulty it's just one of those intermittent faults that you there's no rhyme or reason to them sometimes and it's one of those you know products nowadays like this fan it was one of those sort of tap column fans um i'm not going to start taking it apart and trying to figure out what's wrong with it because they're all sealed units they've got those funny metal screws that you can't undo basically um they're all sealed and like molded casings and stuff they're not designed to be repaired so it's just one of those things you've just got to say to the customer sorry you need to chuck the fan away and get a new one uh, which that's the society we live in now really it's a throwaway society in the old days everything was you could kind of take it apart yourself and and repair it but I suppose that manufacturing is so cheap now out of places like China and labor in this country is so expensive relatively that it would be more expensive to get a, a, a qualified and, and uh, experienced technician to actually come out and take the fan apart and try and figure out the fault than it is to just pay 20 quid to buy a new one. So this is the way the, the way the world is now. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Um, it's probably not the best way to do things because we do end up with a lot of stuff going to landfill, but what can you do? It's just the way the world works, unfortunately. You go to these countries like Morocco and you see them all driving around on these really old motorbikes and all the taxis are these really old Mercedes cars, like these really old Mercedes Benzes, like 40, 50 years old, and they're still going strong, you know? And it's just because they, they repair them, they keep them going. Something goes wrong with it. They don't just think, oh, scrap it, I'll get a new car. They just repair it. I mean, probably the safety standards are not quite the same here. Maybe they wouldn't pass an MOT or something like that. But actually, you know, they keep those things going for years and years. It's the same all over Africa. You see some of the machines and equipment that they keep running in places like that. And those kind of things, when they were built, they were built to last with solid metal parts that you can be replaced or repaired, you know? Whereas nowadays, everything's designed to just last a few years and then be replaced because technology moves so fast that in a few years' time, somebody's not going to want it anyway. They're going to want the new version. So, yeah, anyway, that's just a bit of a rant that I'm, I'm talking about. Not really a complaint as such, just an observation that that's the way the world works. Yeah.